Hi everyone, I am Kanika Kucheria from Tech Canvas. Today we will talk in detail on the use cases where artificial intelligence works wonders for test automation. So let's proceed. In the previous video, we learned what is AI and evolution of software testing. With AI coming in, we can rightly say that third wave has struck in the world of software testing. AI removes flakiness of the test cases. We all have experience that in UI testing, the test scripts are quite brittle. AI provides solution for this problem. With AI, we can automate based on mockups much before the actual development to start. And thus, it saves a lot of time. AI can learn the page load behavior and thus we can get rid of the n number of sleeps and waits from our scripts. AI based test automation gives a better test coverage as well. Now let's see some scenarios where AI can specifically contribute in art. Now let's see some scenarios where AI can specifically contribute in automation testing. AI helps in visual validation of our web pages. We can test the different types of contents like text, video, graphics, audio, and lots more. A very critical part of testing is to identify the minimum number of test cases which are sufficient enough to test a particular use case. With AI algorithms working on it, we can solve this problem as well. AI-based tools also give good fingerprints of the test results and thus helps a lot in debugging. Let's understand how the test scripts become written. In this diagram, here the tester puts a lot of effort in creating the automation test pack and finally leaves for the day happy and satisfied. Later, the developer as a part of some requirement change modifies some web elements also. He renames the locators and the IDs. The next day when the tester reruns the test suite, it fails. He is completely shocked as he has to put all that effort again to make the test suite work again. Let's have a demo to understand the test prettiness. This is our contact us page of Tech Canvas website, which we want to automate. So for that, we need to locate the web elements like name, email ID, contact number, etc. I'll just right click inspect and locate the web element. So this is the, uh, I'll just scroll the page to see clearly. So for this name field, the name of this field is text name and ID is text name. Similarly, for another field, uh, say email, the ID is text email. For example, if the developer changes the ID of these fields, say name, email ID, etc., and we have used the locator strategy in our automation script on ID, our scripts will break, our test scripts become written. We now again have to rework on our automation script location strategy or identify new locators. So this was about the test prettiness. Now let's have a demo on test gym and see how we can have more stable test cases and get rid of the test flakiness. You start by creating your first test case. Here you need to provide the base URL of your web application. Here I have used the Tech Canvas URL. Then you need to click on this red button to start the recording. Let's see what happens. It has opened the Tech Canvas website. Now I'll click on Contact Us and record all the steps of my test case. So I'll give all the details, name, email ID, I'll give the other details like contact number, select one of the drop down option, 
give some message and click on submit. So this was all about my first test case. So now I'll go back on test game and stop the recording. We can see that in the dashboard, it has captured each and every step one by one during the recording. Let's execute the test case and see what happens. I'll click on play button. It will open up the web page, navigate and do whatever steps were recorded as a part of testing. Once all the steps are executed, it will show that test has been completed successfully. Let's go back on test game and see what has happened. Here we can see that in each and every step, it, it gives a quite a good feedback whether the execution has been successfully done or not. They're giving a red or green mark. In the background, AI algorithms help in parsing the DOM structure of the whole web page and helps it in making a list of all the attributes of the web element. For example, in this step where we click on the summit button, if I click on properties, it will show me the list of all the locator strategies it can use to locate that web element. So here we can see that ID, type, name, class, etc. And there's a long list. So it has a detailed list of all the locator strategies that can be used to identify that particular web element. So till now, what we have seen is like what any other test automation tool will work. Now let's see the real magic of testing. A scenario where a developer makes some changes in the UI. Say for example, he renames the button Summit as Enter. So what will happen? How the self-healing mechanism of Testium behave? Let's see that. So in my recording, I'll add a breakpoint. I'll click here. Now I'll execute my script. So all the steps are executed again and it will pause where we have added the breakpoint. Now here I'll make some UI changes and rename the button submit as enter. I'll click on inspect. So here in this button, I'll change the name as enter. I'll also change the attribute value as enter, as well as I'll change the ID. A lot of UI changes have been done. Now let's see what happens. We'll go back on our testing dashboard and pause the breakpoint and start the execute the script again. So here we can see the script has been executed successfully. Let's go back to the dashboard and see in detail. Now let's see what happened in detail. I'll click on screenshot. In the last baseline run, we can see that it was summit button. And in the current run, it was enter. But still testing could locate the button correctly. It was all because there were AI algorithms running in the background, which gives testing a self-healing mechanism. So we have seen how Testim, which is an AI-based automation testing tool, is really helpful in writing the self-healing scripts, which are not brittle anymore. Now let's talk about other features which Testim has to offer. We, uh, we saw that how quickly we could automate our testing with no coding experience needed. It supports multiple browsers, it has seamless integration with CI, CD tools available in the market. Tim provides useful insights via text and visual differentiation of the test results. With the help of screenshots, we can defer the results in more detailed manner. There are many other advanced features in this tool, which makes it all the more a good option for AI-based test automation. 
So this was all about the use of AI in test automation. Keep tuned for more videos on Tech Canvas. Thank you.